Good day, students. Welcome to the new year. Today, our topic, subject today is CRK, GS2. Our topic today is the call of the disciples. When we talk of call, anybody can call anybody. What we call of disciples? Disciples means somebody that is under a teacher. Teacher is somebody that will put you through some things or things you don't even understand. The call of disciples today has to do with Jesus Christ. They say Jesus' call is first for disciples. In our text, Matthew 4, 18 to 22, and also Mark 2, 14 to 20, and Luke 5, 1 to 11. In it, after reading it, you will see the reasons why Jesus Christ has to call disciples. Because the ministry given to him by the Father is just too large, and he cannot do it alone. So this, we read that Jesus was walking by the Sea of Galilee when he saw the two brothers. It was after the temptation of 40 days and 40 nights that devil could not, with all his antics, overpower Jesus or could have victory over him. But after the victory that Jesus had over the devil, then he was going, left that place, he was going to Galilee. He saw the true brothers. He saw Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother. But because I've, as, as I've told you before, that the ministry given to Jesus Christ by God is too large and he cannot do it alone because the country has to go, places has to preach, he has to train some people that will follow suit after him and have left. So that's why I said disciple means somebody that is under a teacher, a tutor that will guide him, that will train him, that will take after that master. In three, number three said, they were casting a net into the sea because of fishermen. When you read along, you see that Jesus Christ did not call the lettered. Lettered means the, the people that had education, people that have well read, people that know more. But he called the blesser in the sight. Lesser in the sense that people that the people don't even look onto. How could fishermen work with Jesus Christ? How could they go along? It is just a mystery. And in it, you see what the Lord used them for. He called them to follow him. He said to them that he would make them fishers of men. Immediately, they left their net and in this short five points given to you, I have more points, but you see, you see, see it in your notes. But for you to understand that in our topic, this term, this is our first topic for this term, the call of disciple. I told you what is the call. Anybody can call anybody. But, it may, but the main thing is that who and who is calling you? Or what kind of call are you called? Or what kind of call they are calling you? So, but because it has a heading that the call of disciple. Disciple means somebody that is under a teacher. Somebody that wants to be trained. Somebody that wants to learn. We call them disciple. In, in, in short, you can say students. Like in a class of this nature, you, my students, are my disciples. Teacher, exactly what is happening here. Because... By teaching you, I want to understand one or two things. By imparting knowledge into you, I want to go out and practicalize what we have done. That's why Jesus Christ needs people that will come around with him. As I've told you before, the five points, after the devil have attempted, but Jesus Christ, he could not. Jesus Christ had victory over him. So he has to go out for him to move about and propagate what he has to do. So with these five points given to you, just I want you to go in deep, read, read Matthew 18, 4, 18 to 22, Mark 2, and Luke 5, 1 to 11. You will see the differences, the variations, exactly what really happens there. And in my note that I will text to you, I'll write you to copy the note to see more why reasons Jesus has to call disciples. For this short note, for the first day, I just want to have the feelings that this point that you see, it might come out for you in your exam. And I would like you to take it as it were. 
you just go through the line. It's not difficult for you to memorize what is written here. The five points. After the five point, then you learn more. After reading this Mark 2, 14 to 20, you also see similar thing. Mark 5, 1 to 11, you also see similar thing. And you need to be able to understand the call of the disciple. So because of our time today, I don't want to go much just for you to understand. But in our substance topic, I will tell you what you need to do, what you need to understand, the 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, and all those things that is needed. The first one is the four disciples of Jesus Christ. But in it, you have only two now. But in your notes, I will complete the rest too for you so that for you to understand better. Good day.